Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me again. Appreciate. Thank you very much. I will try to play Apex Legends on my deck station. And it's uh <laughs> I'm not going to actually like install Apex Legends on my deck station and try to play it. Basically I'm going to use a Shadow Cloud Gaming service to stream this game to my deck station and we're going to use a virtual here USB server uh Basic virtual here is a software which allows USB over IP connection. Obviously, um, if you are my long time viewer, you know my 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 pain and issues that um, Android gaming has with the mouse inputs. So basically, with the mouse, um, Android gaming and um, action shooting games where you need to pan the camera left and right, basically something like a. Apex Legends, Fortnite, CSGO, F uh, Fallout, um, Skyrim, etc, etc, etc. Everywhere where you have an option to play with a keyboard and a mouse. The mouse on Android at the moment does only two things. is click and click and hold. There is no moving around. So it's like right now, as you can see on the screen, the mouse moves around left and right, up and down by me moving the mouse. But that input do not exist on the game, especially when, let's say, you're trying to play, I don't know, let's su let's say some android game or you're streaming something from a cloud gaming cloud gaming service uh, server and you're trying to play something like apex legends so what i'll do in this video i will get the virtual here uh, not set up because i already done a video how to set this up i'm just going to quickly take this this is the usb connection to my just ordinary usb mouse so i'm going to just plug that in and hopefully uh, the app will tell me hey we have this one connected. Do you want virtual here USB server take over this device? Yes, please. So now if I move uh, this mouse, I have a mouse pointer going across. I just lost it. So this is that's the, so I'm just using a let's say this way. Come on, mouse move. As you as you see, I'm I'm just using a, my my palm as a, as a mouse pad. So this is working. And the same I'm gonna do if I take this USB mouse and do this the work is so basically deck station at the moment has uh one keyboard and two mouse connected so um bluetooth uh, by the way this is a microsoft designer bluetooth and a microsoft designer keyboard i'm using uh pretty much if you're looking at very good bluetooth keyboard for your deck station setup don't look any further i quite like this one um I started using this a couple of months ago in my day job and believe me typing on these keyboards uh, especially on this keyboard typing is amazing the the keys layout and and everything very 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 good <clears throat> so i don't know but obviously usb over ap is not the bluetooth over ap so that's why i have to use a old-fashioned usb mouse so i got the the server running let me double check yes accept so technically i believe that's working I don't know. Uh, well, you should run the virtual here USB server first before you plug in USB mouse. So what I'll do, I'll just gonna disconnect the USB mouse and just gonna plug back in just just to make sure that it picks up. So that's done, and I can see on a tray this is an icon for USB uh, server virtual USB server running here. So let's jump in into the Shadow Cloud Gaming. So I connected there. I got the client already downloaded. I got so much stuff here uh, open. Let me close. What's this? Beyond. Okay. Let's close that. <clears throat> so VH, VHUI64. Virtual here. User interface 64 bits. This is the client. So I have a virtual here server running on my deck station. And this is the client. So if I'm going to open up. It's detecting my, my device here. The way it works is basically you need to set up the virtual here server on your deck station then go to your router do a port forwarding then you've done a port forwarding you need to go to your cloud gaming computer client you need to enter your outside ap address with the port number 7575 the connection happens and you should see this i already done a brief tutorial how to do this i think i done it i need to I, I, i'll go back on my recorded videos and i'll find which one is is um contains the tutorial because I can remember and I'll post the link in the description below if I remember or if I remember we'll put the card at the top but pretty much 
after you've done all this correctly, you should see this. So if I double click on the USB mouse input, <clears throat> it says in use by you. So that means that I have the Bluetooth mouse controlling deck station and USB mouse controlling the shadow. The problem with this is, as you can see now, I'm clicking right click on the USB mouse, but I do not see the pointer and just start opening some weird, weird things. So let me close it. So pointer is there, there, as you can see, there is no pointer, but that's, that's not big deal because all the games will have their own mouse pointer styles included. So I'm going to use the Bluetooth. So if you see the pointer on the screen, it's a Bluetooth key and mouse. If you can't see, it's basically USB. So I'm going to use Bluetooth key and mouse to start Apex Legends. So that's starting. So give a second or so for game to start. And then when the game starts, I will start control controlling the game using a Bluetooth keyboard, Microsoft Designer Bluetooth keyboard and USB mouse. It is a bit messy, I know, uh, but I just would like to show you that this it's possible. And then if you want, just leave, um, just let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do in-depth tutorial how all this working. And if you, let's say how many of you will, will want this, obviously I'll do it, I'll do it. <clears throat> so right now I'm streaming Shadowplow Gaming Computer to my deck station. By the way, my deck station is connected using the Ethernet cable. I'm not using a Wi-Fi Ethernet cable. So right now there is no mouse point. So what I need to do, I'm using a Bluetooth mouse. Go to select training. Let's jump into training first and click ready. And a mouse, Bluetooth mouse, I'm just going to leave it by there. Hopefully you can see that's what the pointer is. I'm just going to leave it there. So you will see that actually. And now I'm using the USB mouse which is connected to my deck station, virtual here, server streaming USB mouse inputs to my Shadow Cloud Gaming to a virtual here client. And that's, how, that's happening. Let me quickly just do a bit of increase the volume of the game and let's start. Okay, hello, crouch, jump. As you can see, I've already done a bit of testing before recording this video, so roughly know exactly what needs to be done. So, okay, let's wait for this dude to land. Quality mm -hmm. streaming quality. It's, it's uh, not best graphics streaming to my deck station, but it's, it's playable. And obviously this. Okay, so let's grab a gun now. Okay, and brilliant. You still can see the mouse top left. You still see a mouse and I'm using a USB mouse to actually control. Yes, yes, yes. So now let's go back to the Bluetooth mouse, leave, leave the match. And what I'll do, I'll just gonna connect to quickly to uh, one of the matches. I'm probably gonna lose anyway but let's see how it goes so play apex ready so i'm using a bluetooth mouse to interact with the menus not all the games has that like say fallout 4 uh, when you launch the game it's got their own mouse the same is with the skyrim so but you got the setup so you already have two mouse <clears throat> devices connected and if you're using a Bluetooth mouse or sort of Bluetooth keyboard that has a trackpad on the side, even better. You can use a trackpad to navigate for menus, but actual USB mouse, you can go and start playing. I might do, if you want, like I said, I'll do the tutorial. Mm -hmm. I might use my Logitech K400 uh, mouse, uh, keyboard to actually do all these settings. So waiting for players. So starting in three, two, one, go. Apex Legends. So I'm gonna try to see how it goes. So the mouse, as you can see, is still at the top left. And this is gonna be there. Okay. Okay. I can't remember. Okay. Waiting for his turn. Okay, so. So, oh, I need to select something. Let's select this guy. 
So I used the Bluetooth mouse to select the character. So it's a bit messing, like when you get, it's not ideal, it's not perfect. Uh, nothing will replace a proper gaming computer with your gaming mouse and a keyboard. But this is very good alternative if you want to go for it. So let's go and try to lose because that's what's going to happen. I'm going to lose. So mouse inputs, not bad at all. So where are we going to land? I don't know. Okay. Let's touch down here. Cover that. Enemy spotted. This is a good LZ. Yeah, come on. When are we gonna jump? Heard that. Here we go. Hang tight. So we dropping. There's blood already. Come on. Okay. That was a, a hard hard jump. Come on guys, I need some weapons. Okay. Who the hell are I don't like I never played uh, Apex before. I just roughly know what this game is about. And pretty much that's it. Okay, got my weapons, got my armor and whatnot. Okay. Yes, I heard that. Collect, 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 collect. And uh, I don't, I don't feel any, any mouse input lags let's say this way <clears throat> to be honest I don't know what I'm doing enemy a little um, lag in the in the in the uh, streaming Freaking recall on the gun is really annoying me. Come on, guys. You're kidding me. I died. Oh, you're kidding me. Anyway, leave the match. I lost not because of uh, streaming quality or, or etc. I lost because of... <laughs> I'm a noob in this game. Let's try one more. Let's try one more time. Just to see how it all goes. Maybe I need to change some streaming quality like say in the bandwidth yeah, 15 let's do 10 that slightly will decrease the quality of the game and the qu and the graphics and all not all, all these things coming into my deck station but i might get a, a better better streaming quality so right now uh 57 60 uh let's increase volume of the game just slightly a bit more so starting in, so I need a Bluetooth mouse to do a selections and I need USB mouse when it's actually starting the game. I know it is a mess, but, uh, but it's okay. I just polished my grapple. I quite like this idea when you need to actually wait and you have a your own um, your own basically you choose what you want to be it's not like somebody just takes your randomly pick so I quite like this when you need to wait for your turn to pick your character 
But anyway, as you can see, kills one, nine, and this guy at the left, at the right, I mean, is like... Champion squad. Apex. So, okay. So, mouse back. Let's see how I'm gonna perform now. I might, be, <clears throat> I might do a bit of tweaking to finding the, the middle gold that everything works perfectly. <clears throat> okay, we're dropping here. That's fine. Let's see how it goes. I just need to move my monitor slightly backwards because it's taking too much space. Okay, uh, quality of streaming. I can hear artifact noises. Which is not great. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Hello, guys. I need a weapon. Seriously. I have no gun yet. Please tell me something's here. First blood. I got armor. First blood on the enemy. On the enemy, yes. Oh, come on. Seriously. It's already fighting something. Oh, yes. I got the gun. I'm on my way. Okay. Laggy. Lag. Lag. I think my broadband is, is messing around. Okay, 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 relax. I have no ammo. Bloody hell. Okay, this is not great. Whoa! And this was <laughs> second attempt to play. Anyway, I need to do a bit of practice and see exactly if it's working and if it's uh, okay to be used. But obviously, your mileage might vary. You might get a better experience than I did. You obviously know this game better than I do, and you'll be able to play this game even better. Just a quick one. This is off topic. If for everyone who actually stayed that long, let me quickly see if I can. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. If I can go, let's see where is my, for example, where is it? Um, Warcraft. Let's see if I can play Warcraft. Because the proper USB mouse input is exist. So. Camera movements and all this stuff might work on the Warcraft. Let's see. So everyone who stayed that long, here you go. Let's see. Two games in one video. God damn, I'm good. doing great. Connecting, retrieving, etc. Okay, this is me. Mouse inputs don't exist, so let's start this way. And now. I'm gonna see if the USB mouse input working. <clears throat> yes. Uh, one problem, I can't see the pointer. I need. But that's not a problem because I can play without the mouse pointer. It's just how's with the looting? I need to target something first. Okay. There is no mouse pointer, and that is why I can't see how to loot. Bloody hell. Anyway. Anyway, exit the game. Exit now. Might be a need a bit tweaking. I need to figure out. I need to figure out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your suggestions in a comment below, comment section below if you want me to do some other videos about some games or something and let me know if you want me to create an in-depth tutorial how virtual here needs to be set up and uh, I'll see you in the near future thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon bye bye